Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to group cells or rows with the same format in Excel using VBA macros. So as an example, I have here a table with data is a kind of a project plan and when we will group everything, it will look like this. So this is quite helpful when we have a lot of data to focus on, on a particular set of data, for example, a category or in this case a phase, and we, as we can collapse and, and show the data we are working on at this particular time. We can also um, show everything, uh, collapse everything, and we can of course do this manually that everything is here under the data tab and you can group and ungroup everything manually. But of course, if you have a large data set, it's gonna take a while. So this macro will just group everything for you based on your preferred given condition. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor First, we declare some integer variables, r as an integer, or as long if you expect a, a large data set, and r will be the number for each row. Then we'll have lr, which is gonna be the last row with content, as an integer, and then we, we're gonna have a start r and end r. And these two are gonna set the start row and the end row of a group of rows to be grouped. So first we get the last row with content in the active sheet that will be cells rows count for the column A, for example. And then with end, we move up and we get the row. Now we can start a loop for R equals, and we will start in row two because we have some headers, two LR. And now for each row, we're gonna check if the range A, R, and we are checking column A, but we could check any other column or the entire row. And we're gonna check for a certain condition. In this case, it's gonna be the font is bold, but we can change that to whatever other condition you may want, uh, the, the, the size of the font, the color, or anything else. So if it's true, then we're gonna have another condition to check if this is the first time we see one of the categories or the faces highlighted in bold. So if a start row is zero, and this will be the first time, then we're gonna set a start row as the row plus one. So as the next row in the loop. But else, so for the next row with that format, we are gonna set end row as the previous row. And for example, that will be here, row number nine. And then we are gonna group all the rows between start row and end row. And we do that with range A and the start row. And going to A and end row. And then we select all the rows and group. And when grouped, we are gonna set again a start row as the next row. And we end the if statement here. And we also end the other if statement here. And then we can go to the next row. So this will group all the rows except the last rows. Because when it hits here, the last row with that format, it's not gonna meet the condition to group the row. So we need to add, after the loop has finished, we need to add again range A from a start row up to A to the last row with content, so the variable LR that we defined at the beginning, rows group. And this is gonna group the last rows in the data set. So let's play it and see how it works. And as you see, it has grouped everything. We can collapse the groups. We can also do it with the buttons up here. We can show all or collapse everything. And then we can focus on a particular category or face in this case and hide the rest of the data. And we can ungroup everything here in the data tab with ungroup. But note that when groups are collapsed, Excel hides those rows. 
So we need to select all or select the rows in a scope and right click and hide. So that's how we group cells or rows with the same format in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.